Hi guys, welcome to the Nathan Tech. My name is Ricky. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go from Windows 11 uh, to Bazide if you're considering making a switch. More specifically, I'm going to be working with uh, GTX 1070 to show you guys that it is actually possible to use old uh, NVIDIA cards to switch to uh, to Bazide, but unfortunately, there is a caveat. Um, if you've seen other videos of Bazide, or if you're familiar with Bazide at all, Bazide is a, a distro of Linux that has the Steam software, uh, or or the more specifically the big picture mode set up as um, as kind of like a top layer in a sense, where when you first start your computer, you'll get the uh, you'll get the big picture mode at the beginning. Some people like that, some people don't, but overall it also comes included with most of the things that you need uh, to get it to work, uh, to get most games out there to work. It, in my opinion, it's a really great way for you to switch from Windows to Linux if you use your computer primarily uh, for gaming. Um, so let's get started. Great, my goal with this video is to create a quick and easy video uh, without that much unnecessary jargon um, so I'm going to include things like downloading and installing the operating system also known as the ISO uh, a quick navigation on the setup process waiting for the download a couple of benchmarks and my conclusions at the end so feel free to skip to the uh, to um, any of the steps that you think you need um, by following the, the uh, timestamps below Go ahead and search uh, for Bazite on Google, or I'm going to leave all these links uh, on the description. Once you come into the Bazite website, you're going to click on Download Bazite. That's going to bring you down to uh, the selector, where you can choose the type of system that you have. It's going to prompt you to select your hardware. I go for desktop, but you can also use different you can even still install it on the Steam Deck you're gonna select your GPU vendor in my case I'm using the 1070 so we're gonna use the Nvidia 9xx 10xx series and you can select pretty much whatever option you want for bass side I usually use the stable version I, uh, I stay away from the beta version just to make it more stable uh, you're going to look for Bassi-NVIDIA and you're going to wait for that to download. While that's downloading, uh, we're going to search for Rufus. I'm going to go ahead and have all these links available on the description. Um, and if you like me to update any of the links, if for whatever reason they're not working, just leave me a comment, on, uh, leave me a comment and I'll go ahead and make that correction. Uh, but searching it in Google works fine too. We're going to allow Rufus and Bassite to download. Then you want to open Rufus and allow it to allow it to install. Now you want to install your your thumb drive into any open USB port you have on your motherboard. It's better to do it on your motherboard to ensure um, that it works better. I just find it that it works better that way. Want to go ahead and open on Rufus and make sure that you that your USB appears on the device section. Uh, make sure that you format your um, USB before you start using it. I usually leave it just in the default settings. FAT32 seems to work fine for me. You're going to click on select and make sure that the bad side NVIDIA stable appears on the boot selection. I leave, like, once again, like I said, I leave everything else on default settings. And then we're going to click.
uh, this is a hybrid ISO I don't know what that means so I just like with everything else here I just leave everything on default and so far I haven't had any issues Then you're going to restart your system and press the key to access BIOS. Usually it's a delete key. And once you enter your BIOS, your best bet would be to go to advanced mode. Although if you have a boot menu, you can use the boot menu or press F8 if you have an ASUS motherboard. You're going to go to boot, override boot sequence. And you're going to look for the UEFI USB Disk 3 partition. Once you get to this screen, you can also test BASI directly out of the USB. So that way you, you can see how it feels before you install it. But I'm just going to go for install BASI. You're going to see all this random code. This is normal. You want to let that all those you want to, at this point you don't have to do anything once you get to this point uh, you can choose your language I'm gonna choose English and here this gives you the option to um, create a user if you don't create a user uh, your default password is gonna be Bazai but if you do this you're gonna be able to change the name of your computer and create a password in my case, I prefer to use simple number passwords. It just makes it easier for me, but you can choose whatever you want. Bassite is going to warn you if the password is too short, but I just find that easier. Then you're going to choose your installation destination. This is going to display the hard drives that you have. Keep in mind that the USB is going to show up as uh, often the smallest drive, but it's, that's how you can tell. Once you hit done, it's going to prompt you to delete the hard drive. It's going to ask, it's going to remind you that you need at least 10.32 gigabytes of space. From here, you can choose to delete all. I would recommend doing that to make sure that you don't have anything from Windows uh, slowing down your system. And then you click on reclaim space. This is going to delete everything. So be careful. Make sure that you're ready for that. This step can take a while. I sped up the footage just so it wouldn't take that long once you see once you see the reboot system button you can press on that and just allow for the system to restart sometimes you have to press the restart button honestly I've I've seen that happen many times and I just restart the system you're gonna see this uh, Shim UEFI key management thing. Uh, it just seems to be the system making itself stable, but this is normal. You're only gonna see this on the first boot. Click on Fedora Bazai, because it is based on Fedora. And after you do this the first time, you're not gonna have to do this again. You can just let it load. This is okay, this is normal and make sure we arrive to the I just want to make sure that we get to the desktop the first load it's always the slowest and very good once we get to this point this is where I usually like to remove the uh, thumb drive sign into your steam account the way you normally would you can even use your cell phone if you want to use the QR code I find that easier okay very good and sometimes you're not gonna see the, the sometimes that the store is not gonna display normally but you can just quickly go to the library and from here you can start ins installing your games normally now now we're gonna go ahead and install one of my favorite apps for Linux mango juice so just go to the open up the star menu go to bazaar or you can also find uh, use this little price tag here on the bottom once you enter the main page click on the magnifying glass 
and search for mango juice you're gonna go ahead and install mango juice you can also use the terminal but more often than not I end up just going for the regular utility download pages so I start off with mango juice uh, is usually the utility they use to uh, set up the overlay and that way I can keep an eye on the temperature then you can choose uh, what you want to observe the cool thing about mango juice is that you can actually test where you're going to be getting on your overlay uh, I like to check the RAM virtual mem memory utilization and things for that nature and when you click on test you can actually see what's going to be displayed but once you have set it up you have to come to the game on Steam and go into the properties menu and then under launch options you're gonna type in mango HUD space percentage sign command percentage sign and you can copy paste this and add it to the games as you're downloading them this will allow you to display the overlay on the on the game while you're playing all right very good but enough about the installation let's go ahead and jump onto some games all right so now that we get started we have uh, cyberpunk 2077 This is uh, we're running the game on we're running the game on high settings, and we're in the middle of Night City. I find that the performance is not quite as good as in Windows in some games, especially with um, with Nvidia graphics cards. But I find this is a good alternative in case the driver support in Windows becomes much worse or you just don't want to have Windows installed. Alright, so now we jump into Helldivers 2. Greetings, Helldiver. The galactic war awaits. Upon which anvil shall freedom's hammer fall, Helldiver? Thank you. Mr. Briefing Person. It's a little dark, but it kind of gives you an idea of the performance that you can expect out of a hard out of this kind of hardware combination with Bazai. And this is with medium settings, by the way. Now we're quickly going to jump into the finals. The performance in the finals is pretty good. I feel like they really optimized the game for a bad side. I uh, just I feel like this is the closest to the performance with Windows on, um, on NVIDIA GPUs that we've got so far. But it does seem like NVIDIA itself suffers a little bit from the lack of the latest drivers even on bad side. But we'll see how it compares after a year of no longer getting driver support. Uh-oh. Uh, all right. This is exactly what the Vogue's needed. They've pocketed Unfortunately, the NVIDIA version of Azai doesn't actually give you 
um, big picture mode as a way to start uh, as a way to start the game but you can easily access it by going to your um, applications and then go to games scroll down and you will usually see it as uh, one of the last options it's, it's with S so it depends on how many games you have uh, once you click here on big picture mode the problem with big picture mode on, on Nvidia is that it it feels a little funny yeah and then from big picture mode you can also access the games um, I think I forgot to test uh, I think I forgot to test Fallout 76 so let's we can try that one out and the good thing is that with the same command it'll also pull the overlay and you'll be able to use this uh, here uh, on big picture mode because the big picture mode on Nvidia cards doesn't have uh, the same overlay so you have to use the mango HUD but then you get the same settings uh, you get all uh, you get all the same information as before personally after a while big picture mode also gets a little old but that's just my opinion So we have to take you out. Yeah. There we go. And yeah, that's it. The, the cool thing is about about Bassite is really the number of games that you can get running. It's at this point, it's just about everything. If you have any questions uh, about the installation process, feel free to reach out to me through the comments. And honestly, the, the performance in the games weren't as good as the performance that you can get right now with Windows. But in my opinion, it still provides a great way to give uh, hardware like this a second chance of life. And the good thing about Linux is that uh, Linux is community driven. So even though the performance is not as good now, it's more likely to stay better past the point when drivers are going to be no longer supported i think bassett is a good option to to switch to linux and we'll see what i'm going to do is i'm going to also uh continue doing benchmarks on bazai um, as part of my regular rotation to compare the performance especially after the uh october deadline of when the drivers stop being supported um, i hope you guys find this useful Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Donantum Tech. My name is Ricky. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye for now.